This is the highest attack pal in the game, as far as I have seen. You got the buffs from Legend, Ferocious, Lord of the Underworld, Musclehead. Adding up to 150% extra damage. And add on top of that 20% from food, and the food in question being the Loco Moco, which basically makes the perfect Fostalian Noct. And I just want to give a shout out to SS Dragono for inspiring me to make... 380 Fostalian Nocts in order to reach this one absolute perfect Fostalian Noct. And by the way, even the IV, like the individual values, if you know about those, you know that they are just a bunch of extra RNG thrown into the whole thing. But as far as I have seen, a level 1 Fostalian Noct is probably gonna have between 187 to 190 attack once you get them and that basically changes everything when they eventually reach level 50 as you can see both have the same exact passive skills the only difference is that this is a level 50 and this is a level 1 because even their iv is the same this one this frostalian noct used to be 190 attack and this is the highest base attack i have seen in the entire game when it comes to frostalian noct and to be honest when it comes to even all other pals. I don't know if Frostalian Noct is just like the highest attack IV in the game just because he is very rare to get. You cannot even get him without breeding. But yeah, let's explain how we got into this absolute beast. If you have seen my ass be gone video, the best Astigon in the entire game, you will know how I made the perfect Pyron Noct which we will be breeding both of them to make a perfect Hilzefer. I will leave a link to the Astigon video. But yeah, one thing isn't shown here is that Lord of the Underworld and Dark Wisp are from Shadowbeak and Necromus. So yeah, you need to have that in mind. So after breeding them, you will get the perfect Hilzefer. Why do you need a perfect Hilzefer? Because you need Lord of the Underworld and Dark Wisp. Why? Because when you capture Frostalian, you will never get one with Lord of the Underworld or Dark Wisp. Which means the breeding system became much much harder because only one of the parents has Dark Wisp. That's why I made a fuck ton of Frostalian Nuts because it's really hard to get the perfect one. And you probably won't even get the perfect one through these two. You're probably gonna get two Frostalian Nuts with Dark Wisp and only two of the passive skills, and then you breed them with each other. In the end, you will make the perfect Frostalian Noct, or as I call it, Ultimate Brony, which, with all the hook rates, will add up to 3400 attack. The highest attack I have ever seen in this game. Without the glitches, of course. I know Dark Wisp is a glitch, but it doesn't increase the attack. Like, on the numbers, it doesn't decrease it. So yeah, without glitches, I have never seen 3400. And yeah, that's about it. Good luck making the perfect brony. And yeah, may the RNG gods be with you.